What's good YouTube, it's your boy Tank B Choppin' and I'm coming at y'all with another haircut tutorial. So what we doing on this cut, we doing a low fade on the sides and we are going to be doing a comb over on top. We are taking a good amount off the top so we are taking about 3 quarters of an inch to an inch off. So as you can see right here I am just saturating the hair, combing the hair the way it lays, that way I can get a good idea of what I'm going to do with this haircut. So as y'all can see guys, I am parting it. Uh, this is where his natural part just naturally sits. So I just want to make sure I follow that and get that nice and even and just nice and straight. That way his hair lays the way it's supposed to lay. So I just want to let y'all know that we aren't actually putting the hard part in with the trimmers. We're just going to leave it just like that how it is. Comb, you know, the longer hair on top over and then comb the left of the, the, left of the hair the hair that's left, we're going to comb that down. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So as you can see, I'm taking my first section right here. And I'm going to take off about three quarters of an inch to an inch. And I'm going to use this as my traveling guideline for the rest of the top of his hair. And if you are curious, I am using my Hanzo's, my six and a half, the Minuki. And we just going over the top guys getting this all nice and even and I am using that guideline so every new part that I come up with the with the hair on top I am making sure I'm using the previous hair that I cut as a guideline basically as a traveling guideline to make sure I get all this hair down even on top and I do want to state that if you take bigger sections uh, you happen to have a little more uh, What's the word I'm looking for? It's just not as consistent as it would be as, it, as if you took smaller sections. So basically, the smaller sections you take on top, the more even the top is going to be. And one thing that I do want to emphasize is we're trying to keep that crown nice and full. So I'm going to try not to take that down too much. I just want to trim it and just basically give it a good shape so that way, that way it fades into the sides nice and easy. And that's what I'm doing on this side of the haircut. Also, I am taking that side of the part down slightly. And like I said, that's just to make sure it fades into the hair nice. So we're going to start off with our clipper work with the number four guard on the clipper and we're gonna be coming up and floating that clipper up and out right about the parietal ridge area. We're basically just taking this four and fading it into the hair that we cut. So as you can see, the closer I get to that parietal ridge, I am floating that clipper up and out. And since we are doing a low fade, we are gonna uh, we're gonna drop it down in the back. That way, we save that crown area also. So I am using my Ergos from Gamma. You could use any clipper you like, any preference clipper that you want to use, you can use. Uh, but I just like using these clippers, man. These are like my go-to clippers right now. So therefore, I am using them for this video. I feel like it makes my haircuts easier with these clippers. So uh, yeah, these are basically my go-to clippers, guys. So I'm just using that four to basically debulk the sides and fade the sides into the top. And I'm going to follow that with my number three guard. And I'm basically doing the same thing. I'm just coming right under what I just did. Just so it makes basically fading this hair in slightly easier for me. And you don't have to do this step now. I just, I just like fading it down to at least a three or two on the sides. That way it makes it easier for me. And as you can see, I am flicking out and gliding that clipper up and out. So now I'm going in with my blending shears. 
a little bit of sheer over comb work, just blending in the sides to the uh, basically to where that part is. You know, he, he still does want to uh, make sure to comb that hair down and he wants to be able to comb that hair down. So I am keeping that, you know, pretty long on the sides, not super long, but we are keeping some length on it. So now I'm going in with my trimmers. I am keeping it a little darker in the C cup area. As you can see right there, I dropped it down in the C cup area, came over the ear, and then I'm dropping it down in the back below the occipital bone. So I do want to state that if you've been watching my videos for a while, all of my low fades come down below that occipital bone in the back. It's really rare that I do a low fade where it doesn't drop down in the back below that occipital bone. Now, I'm not saying I don't do it, but it's just really rare. You know, 90% of my haircuts, you know, I always drop them down in the back. So if you're getting a low fade, it's going to come down below that occipital bone. And I just think it gives the haircut a nice shape. Damn it, Tito. So now we're going in with our razor and we're just taking everything that we did on the sides, we're taking that all the way down the skin. We want to get that as short as we possibly can. Basically that way this hair could last and so that gradients pops more. Remember guys, the closer I get to that line, I try to flick out and relieve pressure a little more. I try not to come all the way up to that line. There is times where I do, but for the most part, I try to stay about maybe like half an inch or a quarter of an inch away from that line. And if you see me getting close to it, remember guys, I am flicking out and relieving pressure. That way I don't leave too harsh of a line. So now I'm setting in my next guideline. I have my clipper in my hand with my lever all the way open. Following that same shape, guys, I'm coming up about half an inch to three quarters of an inch. And y'all know me, guys, once I set in my next, uh, my next guideline, I like to fade that section down. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna close my lever halfway and I'm gonna be coming up halfway and then I'm just gonna continue to adjust that lever close. That way I try to get rid of the bottom of that line. And if this clipper doesn't get rid of that line, that's perfectly fine, guys. If we need to, we'll come back with our trimmer just to clean that bottom line up and basically get rid of it if needed. Sometimes it's needed, sometimes it's not. Uh, basically, it just depends on the on the hair texture and the way and the way the hair lays. All right, so now that that is done, I got my number one guard on my clippers. My lever is open and I'm coming up another section. Same thing guys, coming up about half an inch to three quarters of an inch using a slight flick out motion. And then I'm gonna fade this section down. So I'm starting with my lever open and then I'm gonna uh, just adjust that lever closed and try to flick out the bottom of that line. And if this doesn't take that line out completely, that's fine. We can always come back with our 116 and clean that up a little more. Now I'm going in with my one and a half guard. Lever is open. Following that same shape, still flicking out. So remember guys, we did debulk the sides with a four and a number three. So we really only got to fade this into the, to the number three guard. So uh, as you can see here, I have my number three guard on there now. The lever, it, it looks it looks like it's open. I don't want to lie to you and say it's closed, but whether it's open or closed, we are still using that same motion, that flick out motion, and we're trying to get rid of that line. So if I came in with the open, I'm gonna attack that line a little bit. And if it didn't cut anything, I'm gonna close that lever and I'm gonna still attack them dark areas and try to get that dark line out. And if it doesn't come out here, obviously I'm gonna go down to my number two guard and adjust my lever as needed to get rid of that dark spot. So I know this isn't gonna get rid of that line. Uh, so basically it's trying to fade in the one and a half guard to the number three guard. Uh, sometimes you can do that. However, the way his hair is laying and the thickness of his hair is not gonna allow that. So I am coming in with my two guard lever open. I'm coming up just flicking at that line and as you can see it is starting to take it away it's starting to make this fade a little better 
Uh, I am going to need to adjust that blade and do some detail work. But as you can see, the fade's already coming, to better, uh, coming together better now that I put that number two guard on there. So now here's my 1 16th guard and I'm attacking the bottom of this fade. As you can see, there were some dark areas that didn't quite come out with that number one guard. So I'm just cleaning up in between that uh, lever open and that one guard with the 1 16th. I'm coming in with my clipper uh, I have no guard on my clipper right now and as you can see I'm just gonna be adjusting that lever just doing some detail work attacking some dark areas now I'm coming in with my number one guard and I'm doing the same thing I'm gonna adjust that lever as needed so after I did that guys I decided to uh, hit this line up a little bit just because it helps it helps me see this fade a little better. It helps me know what I need to come back in detail a little more. So I decided to put this line up and it helped, it helped take my eyes off of the fade for a little bit. So it helped my eyes just adjust and just, once I actually looked at the fade, I can see what I needed to touch up to make this haircut look better. So basically what we're doing to the left side guys, we're gonna go ahead and do to the right side. I'm doing the same exact steps. I'm starting with my lever open on my clipper, coming up about half an inch to three quarters of an inch and I'm fading that line down, following the same shape that I created with my bald guideline. Then we're moving up to the one guard and then we're going, like I said, we're just gonna to continue to do the same thing that we did on the other side. So I'm really not gonna to talk too much about the steps that I'm doing on this side, just because we're doing the same exact thing that we did on the other side, guys. But I do wanna state that if you like this music that you're hearing right now, y'all make sure to go follow my boy Tito Beats. Uh, give him a follow on Instagram. And also make sure to subscribe to his YouTube channel, man. He he been showing love. These beats are all new beats. He gave me the he sent out these beats, you know, like a Christmas package to everyone who subscribes to him. I'm sorry, not subscribe to him, but everyone who pays for their monthly subscription. So uh, so yeah, you know, I paid for my monthly subscription. And he sent me these beats and they fire, man. So I said, you know what, I need to rock with them beats for this video. Also, I want to give a big shout out to my wife and my family. They just got me a new blue mic and this is what you're hearing right now. Uh, I know my, my voice over quality wasn't the best, but I feel with this mic, it's going to take this, you know, take this basically to the next level. And y'all know I'm all about taking my stuff to the next level, guys. So shout out to my family for that one. All right, so what we're doing here, guys, is we're actually uh, fading in the back. So we're not just fading in the back, but we're also making sure the left side of this fade connects to the right side of this fade. So we want to make sure we're really consistent with this part of the haircut. That way, like I said, it fades in all together and it looks all like one haircut and doesn't look like it's two or three different types of fades on this man's head. are following the same exact steps that we did on both sides of this haircut uh, the back tends to be a little most of the time the back of people's heads tends to be a little more dense than the left or the right side so sometimes you have to give yourself a little more room so the good thing about that is you know we already dropped the haircut in the back so it gives us more room to work with and that is why I also tend to drop most of my fades in the back because like I said you need a little more room to work with because if not sometimes it ends up looking like a little chili bow in the back and that's uh that's not what we're trying to give our clients, man. We're trying to make sure these clients leave the shop looking fresh. So you gotta give yourself some more room if needed to make sure the fade comes out nice. And to me, I don't know about y'all, but to me, this haircut looks like it's coming together. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this haircut so far in the comments, guys. If y'all like this video, go ahead and smash that like button right now. It's gonna take you like one second. Go ahead and do that right now for your boy. Let's go. So most of the time when it comes to doing low fades or any fade at that, the back always gives me a little more trouble than the left or the right side. And that's just because, it's, like I said, you're not just fading in you know, the baldness to the hair on top, but you wanna make sure you bring this haircut together by making sure the left side looks really blended into the right side. So that for that reason, sometimes it takes me a little longer 
and I feel like it's a little more difficult. So now we're taking our blending shears and we're actually doing some shear over comb work. And I just feel like this makes the haircut, it, I just feel like this makes it just blend a little easier and a little nicer. So I tend to do that with most of my haircuts, especially if they're doing like a comb over or a slick back on top. If they have longer hair on top guys, I use them blending shears to blend that into the sides. And I feel that it gives the haircuts a nice shape and a nice look. So basically what I'm doing now is I'm just detailing the sides. Uh, getting rid of any discrepancies, any dark areas, I'm making sure to attack those and just make sure this haircut comes together. And to me, like I said earlier guys, this haircut was looking blurry. It's still looking blurry, but as you can see, I'm still just touching it up, making sure it looks better. So now I'm just lining up the side of his edge up. Remember guys, we did not edge up the front. We just hit the uh, vertical bar and that C cup. So that's what I'm going over with my razor right now. And then we're gonna do the same thing to this side. And once we're done with this, uh, we're gonna add a little bit of enhancements just to make sure this haircut pops a little bit. Oh, my bad, I'm lying, I'm lying. So first, I'm actually blow drying the top of his head because he, I did wet his hair just so I can comb it to see how it looked. And he said that he likes the dry look. So as you can see, I'm just, I'm just blow drying the hair a little bit. Just making sure it's nice and dry, that way we, he can see how it looks. And as you can see right there, I'm using my smooth hair care. I'm using that texture powder on top. And what this does is it's basically like a gel, but it's like a dry look. I mean, I know it's not gel, but it's it's powder, but it gives a finished look that's not so, uh, basically it doesn't give that wet look. It's a nice dry matte look. And now I'm going in with them enhancements, just going over everything I did, making sure that hairline looks nice and crisp. All right, so this is how we look before the cut. As you can see, he needed a haircut. It's been a while. And this is the after look. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this haircut in the comments, guys. If y'all like this video, make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe one time for your boy. Y'all know what it is. Your boy be dropping content every week, man. I try to drop at least two or three videos. If y'all have any questions about the tools I use or this haircut in general, make sure to drop them in the comment section, guys. And I'll make sure to get back to them as soon as possible. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, I appreciate y'all YouTube. Until next time.